Good day, everybody. Ah, uh, seven seventeen p.m. in Tasmania, Australia. I just want to come on briefly. Uh, now I have seen this picture on the internet somewhere else, so I'm sure there are other channels that are utilising this information. Uh, me personally, I do remember seeing it a little while ago, but I kind of glanced over it. Um, several people have mentioned uh, things to me in relation to January the 11th uh, recently, as I mentioned. Rebecca King was one. We have a subscriber on my channel. He has a YouTube channel himself called Garrett the News Guy. His name is Garrett. Uh, I pre presume it's possibly German, um, and you'd pronounce it Golf, G O L H O F. So Garrett, the news guy, he shared these pictures with me. Now I find this mathematically impossible, yet I'm looking at it. If you look at the division of blood moons, from what I can gather. We have a perfect centre point count for all of them converging on January the 11th this year. Now, you screenshot this and enlarge it, etc., so you can see it yourself if you haven't already been privy to this information via another channel, and I'm not taking any credit for this. I haven't done this research myself. You can see I was loosely looking at 10.11 by my previous video and made some references to Amos and the new moon, etc., which we have on the 11th of January. Uh, I'll flip this sideways. Now, that'll probably do something dodgy to your phone, whereby you'll need to have it in its normal orientation, sit it down on the table, and then turn it so that you can take full advantage of being able to see this in its larger size. I think that's how Repo Man explained it the other day. But for me, I've got my phone side on now, and this is very large. Um, so I'll leave it like that for a bit so you can screenshot it. And I'll turn it back to the standard way that may be bigger for you, I'm not sure. Uh, here's a slightly larger picture of the same uh, grid, so to speak. Um, you may need again to screenshot this and enlarge it and have a look. But it all pertains to this i think they're the same photo yeah i'll turn it side on do the same thing with your phone if it helps perhaps it doesn't turn it back to normal orientation but that heavens declare the glory of god on january 11th 2024 this is a little bit blurry i can't really read the first part of the table there but you can have a look yourself and the scriptural verses are there. And I think the verses are to um, highlight the order, the sun, moon and stars, perhaps the order that we... Uh, um, how's it going, Revelation? There'll be sign in the sun, moon and the stars. Yeah, I think that was to denote the order that we were to look for the signs, perhaps. I think somebody mentioned something like that to me. It might not be the case in this particular picture. But as you can see, there seems to be a perfect division point between blood moons. Look at the top one there. That one there, which is in 2044. You can see the day count, same both sides. Have a look at one there. 2044. And we count down to sort of 43, 33, 32, 30. Uh, we go down to 30 in the other one, if you have a look. Oops, sorry. So, uh, it's around the other way. Actually, this is a completely different depiction by the look of it. Yes, it is a lot less days. The other one seems to go out uh, further. So, ah, oh, does this take up where the other picture finished? I'm not sure. But as you can see, the center point for these 
moons or eclipses. I probably said blood moons before. That's probably incorrect, but I would say they are eclipses. I haven't researched this at all, so be they solar or lunar, I'm not sure. But the chart does clearly show that there seems to be a oops, very specific centre point, which is January the 11th, 2024, which is in not very many days' time. And it's all based on blood moons or eclipses, whatever, that occurred, marking the first one and then the second one, working out the days in between each one, and it looks like in every instance they're equal on both sides, which is what gave January the, ele January the 11th um, as a centre date. Is that significant for a rapture? I have no idea. I don't know, but it seems very unusual, given that we've got a new moon. I probably said full moon in other videos. I seem to accidentally mix those up, but we've got a new moon on Jan 11th. We've got all this convergence around this date. We have other watchmen watching these, these sort of December... Um, a January 7th date, and the interesting point that um, Garrett made here was that the January the 7th date, if you take into account the three and a half days or 84 hours that Jesus was in the tomb, that would bring you to the 11th. Would it not? 7, 8, 9, 10, it would. That would bring you to the 11th of January also, so there's an overlay there. Um, I'm wondering if there are any other overlays from the 7th of January, if we went 7 days and 10 days. We're both all familiar with those time frames. Um, maybe we could find some more convergence, but this chart to me seems mathematically impossible. How could that be so perfect? The same number of days on each side of January the 11th, 2024, the probability of that seems, I, I don't think you could compute it, seriously. Well, this is very, very encouraging and interesting and somebody else's work, not mine. So feel free to like, share and comment, but I'm pretty excited about this one. It sure did make the hair stand up on the back of my neck when I watched it. Anyway, guys, God bless. Keep looking up, and we'll talk again soon.